back to my channel which is explore the adobe this is Sunaira Hanif and in this tutorial I am going to show you that how you can easily create this dripping effect so let's start it and before starting uh, uh, let me know you that sometimes it becomes very difficult for you to create uh, this uh, this dripping effect manually so you can use this trick uh, go to your uh, google or google images just type dripping effect png you can see dripping effect png now here you can see many results have been opened here so no matter that the color is red the color is yellow you just need to select which one you want so of course the here are some uh, you, when you will click on one image it will open in, into another website so that you can download high quality images so uh, i have worked on it and i am providing the link in the description of this post which i have created it here you can uh, download all this talk uh, like the model image and I have provided the two links if you click on those links you can simply uh, just in one click uh, can go to your image and uh, can download the subletter so easily so here you can see I have provided the two links and I have also provided the link of paint brush which is I am going to use so let's start it here you can see i have this one image so of course uh, i have first uh, cut out my subject from background so uh, as a quick method i am choosing this select subject option and uh, as you can see it is working now just a little bit i am going i am using select and mask so if you want to know the detail that how we can use select and mask to cut out any subject or here so i uh, you just can click on the right corner of your screen so here after selecting i am adding a layer mask here you can see now my background has been removed now simply you can just uh, create a new layer and bring it in the uh, last now you can also f add from here solid color layer you can also add gradient so in this case i am going to adding uh, going to add this yellow solid color now you have to do one thing as you as i have already downloaded some images here so like this let me open in photoshop so here you can see it is also a dripping uh, effect which has been opened so uh, now how you will work from it you can al uh, you can also choose uh, this one black effect you can also take the selection of white so in photoshop it is very easy to take the selection of one color uh, i am using magic wand tool which you can find in here by the short key is w just a uh, one click on your black layer so you can see it has taken the selection of your black area now you just need to so as you can see if uh, it is not working so i can't add the layer mask i can't open it so why uh, because you just need to go uh, image and mode just changes to rgb now it will work here you can see now I am adding a layer mask now what you need to do go to your original now we have to add that one effect here just uh, pick it and drag it here first convert it to smart object from here now by uh, pressing ctrl or command T you can adjust it simply you can see now you have to adjust the effect rightly where you want so like this here you can see now what you need to do you just need to take the copy of your subject layer by control or command j now bring it at the top now you just need to create a clipping mask 
you can also create it by holding alt or opt key from your keyboard or you can just simply right click on your mouse or keyboard and from here you can create a clipping mask so now actually what has happened let me show you the uh, if i turn off my last one subject layer here you can see it has created such effect here so in order to fix it first we need to take go to your dripping layer and add a layer mask so now by uh, you you will use your brush tool and make sure your foreground color is black just reduce the opacity to 50 percent it will work now you just need to apply it gently from where which you want to remove so like this okay so if i turn on this here you can see if the edges which are you are thinking that uh, i am removing so roughly if you turn on your back this one layer you can see now it is normal but first i am turn on my this one layer and go to your actual model image now you have to uh, hold the key uh, control a uh, command t from your keyboard and just click on this icon like this now as you can see it has selected the area now uh, press ctrl or command shift uh, and plus shift i from your keyboard it will inverse the selection now take your brush tool make sure your foreground color here is black and now go to your actual model layer mask and increase the flow to 100 percent like this just roughly start removing this one so it is okay now press ctrl i command d just to remove the selection now again turn on your actual layer so here you can see how easily we have created this effect so uh, now we will add some background like this this one but white background so now add a layer new layer to your background layer so i have also provided the link of the brush which i am going to use i am actually going to use paint brush so as you can see here i have some paint brushes like this i am increasing the size of brush okay a little bit more like this make sure your opacity and flow is 100 percent and your foreground color here is white you just simply click here at a one time only so now i am reducing the size again i am clicking here now you have to rotate your brush from here you can easily rotate the brush simply i am increasing the size like this by reducing the size like this so i hope that you have totally uh, enjoyed the tutorial you have understand it completely so if yes please don't forget to like subscribe and give your reviews in comment section thank you